Right, well hi there and welcome once again to Burn on Humber. Uh, this will be a uh, follow-up review. I did a review um, a few weeks ago um, about the train pack that's in the background there, the um, Hornby R3133 train pack. Uh, that comes with the, uh, the Class 91 um, Loco and the DVT, in, that's in our Flying Scotsman livery by East Coast. And it comes with a couple of standard coaches as well. When I did that review, I said I'd do a follow-up review. And that's basically going to cover um, the three other coaches that you can get um, individually that go along with that same set. On the actual train pack box in the, the background, you've got a first-class coach. And that is R4540. Uh, then you have a open standard coach. And that is R4541. And then you have the, uh, the buffet coach. And that's R4542. Okay, so if we have a look at the, uh, the three different uh, coaches there. So I'll grab the, the first one. Actually, this is the buffet coach. I might have a look at that last, actually. Okay, so we'll grab this one here. I'll bring that around so you can see that there. So this is R4541. And it is the other standard coach. So the train pack itself comes with a couple of standard coaches there. So coach B and coach C. Uh, this is another standard coach you can get just on an individual basis and this one is actually our coach D. So we'll open it up and uh, have a look. So this is one of the uh, the boxes that has the uh, the sort of pale yellow plastic sleeves and then it's sort of all wrapped in uh, tissue paper there. Obviously normally all the front of it is wrapped and so on as well but I think it's already been out the box once. Okay so we'll take that out of the sleeve and we'll have a look there. Okay, so if we focus in there, you'll see that that's uh, actually Coach D. So you can see these are the, the one at the other uh, top is um, actually Coach B from the train pack. And the one down the bottom is uh, Coach D, which is the individually available standard coach. Uh, looking through there, we can see that the uh, window that's tinted is the same on both our coaches. And the same with the other little single window, it's uh, just clear. Neither of them are tinted as they're meant to be, really. And then all the other seating um, positions are the same as well. All the seats are in exactly the same place. Pretty much that the coach is, is basically identical. So if you look at the uh, the ends, you see that they're identical there. Okay, so put aside the, uh, the coach B there, which is from the train pack. Okay, so we have a bit of a closer look there at the coach. I basically went over this in the, uh, the previous review, but just quickly, we've got the, uh, the coach number there, so coach D in this case. Uh, then there's a little um, symbol about uh, no smoking. Then we have a representation of where you actually open the door. There's an overhead uh, warning symbol there uh, about electricity and so on. There's a little green warning symbol there as well. And then there's, um, again, where you actually uh, open the door here as well. So the one above is whether or not it's locked. And uh, yeah, there's a little sort of circular one to actually open it. Uh, then you have the, uh, the the door, and then we have the running number. So in this case, it is one two four eight eight. And then we have the uh, website address, so www.eastcoast.co.uk. You can see inside there all sort of representation of the different seats, which again is is quite um, sort of accurate in terms of where most of the seats are and so on. It's not accurate in terms of the the colour. It really could do to be um, sort of blue and grey as it is on the actual uh, coach but I'll probably go through and actually uh, paint that up myself at some point uh, take it open and sort of um, do a, an airbrush uh, spray over it do it in grey and then sort of uh, mark off the, the blue CT and so on okay then you have the, uh, the, the East Coast logo so where you've got the, the purple pinstripe running down the side you've got the East Coast logo which has the, the two dots above the, the A and the S there and that sort of, um, sort of gradient into the, the pinstripe Yes, yeah, so that's the standard open coach. As I say, it's uh, pretty similar uh, to the uh, ones that come out of the train pack. In fact, it's actually basically identical. So if we move on to the, the next coach there. So you've got um, R4540 and there's the first class coach. Okay, so um, just uh, quickly open that one up. Okay, so again, just have a look at that uh, quickly. We've got basically the same setup. It's, it's marked as, as Coach M in this case, which is the, the first of the first class coaches. Written just above that, it actually says first class, uh, whereas on the standard uh, coach, it doesn't actually um, have any writing there at all. Other than that, everything's basically the same. The same warning symbol, the door opening uh, symbols and so on. And uh, there's a little the, the green warning symbol there 
and the no smoking symbol. Other than that, it's pretty much identical. It's obviously a different running number, so this one's 11410, and other than that, it's all basically the same. Again, if I put the um, the one that's from the train pack to the standard open uh, coach, again, there's not really any difference. The, the seating's all in the same place, the door and everything all looks exactly the same, the roof is the same, the undercarriage is all exactly the same. As I say, all the, all the seating, everything is, is basically identical. There's uh, one there with a bit of a, a gap and so on. Uh, that's the, the same in both cases. You can see that there and, and in here. Okay, so moving on uh, from the, the first class coach there, which as I say is basically identical to the, the standard coaches except for a couple of decals. We'll have a look at the, uh, the buffet coach, which is uh, significantly different to the other ones. So we have a look at the other uh, box there. So if I focus in there, so that's um, R4542, and it is the, the buffet car, and I uh, just take that out of the other uh, box. Yeah, so I've taken that out of the box, it just comes in the same sort of uh, plastic sleeve as the, for the standard coaches, uh, so nothing particularly interesting there. If I just uh, sit it on this rotary display, you can uh, sort of see the, the basic uh, formation of it. So we have the, uh, the two windows uh, down this end, uh, the first one of those is slightly uh, tinted, uh, well, not tinted, but um, sort of uh, frosted. Then we've got um, just a single window, uh, which is not tinted, none of them are. Uh, then we have our three long windows and a single window. And then the, uh, the three sort of short windows there. And then just the, the single window and uh, a gap here. If we have a bit of uh, a look uh, through the windows there, you can sort of see that the seating looks fairly similar to the standard coaches. It is a little bit different though. Uh, where we've got these narrow windows, you can see that there's just uh, seating below that as well. You can sort of uh, see through to the, the far side there below those windows as well. So it doesn't really have any sort of representation of the, of the galley and, and uh, where they, they serve and so on. Having said that, there is differences uh, with the, the seating of these two compared to the, the standard coach. So again, if I uh, bring up the, the, the standard coach there, just move this uh, display away a bit so I've got a bit more room. Yeah, so we have a look at the, uh, the, the seating there. So we're starting at this end, you can see that the, uh, the, the two windows start off the same. Uh, so we've got the, uh, the frosted window and then the single window. And on the standard coach, there's actually a, a gap down the bottom there where there isn't a seat. But in this case, there is. And um, again, the sort of the seating positions are all fairly different between the two. So you can probably see that there better if I am hold it up like that. The other um, big difference is uh, compared to the, the standard coach, which if we have a look through there, you can see that there's actually two seats on the far side and then two seats on this side and sort of um, fairly short tables. Within the buffet coach, we've actually got a single seating on this side and they've got like a, a short um, table in front of them in some instances. Uh, other ones, there aren't really. It's... Um, it's quite a little odd sort of uh, seating arrangement there um, without uh, tables. And if we have a look around on the other side, we've got uh, double seating, but the table is a lot wider um, than on the, the standard coaches, which is why rather than the sort of two by two, in this case, you've got two by ones uh, for each of the rows. And that's uh, for the buffet coach. Okay, so then have a look at um, the, the rest of it with the buffet coach. The underneath is uh, fairly similar to the standard coach. We'll swing that around, bring the, the two of them up again. So in this case, the, the standard coach is on the, the upper part of it there. But you can see that the, uh, the undercarriage is basically the same. The markings are all in the, in the same place and so on. Uh, there isn't really much difference there. If we have a look at the uh, the door itself, so again, it's basically the, uh, a very similar sort of setup as for the um, the, the standard coach is in the first class coach and that you have the coach number which is uh, coach H in this case and then we have the, the no smoking sign where you open the door and so on and the, and the warning symbol none of that really changes what is different on the, uh, the buffet coach is you've actually got a cafe bar written above uh, the other signs that are there um, other than that it's sort of um, the, the door and the, the symbols are all fairly similar there is differences uh, with the, the roof as well if we have a look at the other uh, roof for the other uh, standard coaches there, if I move that along, you can see that it's basically it's a uh, plane right along there, right to the end. If we have a look at the other uh, roof for the 
buffet coach though you can see that it's uh, plain at the, uh, the end that's got the, the normal windows but as we get above those narrow windows uh, we've got uh, some vents there for where the other uh, cookie and so on would, would occur. In terms of the other uh, formation itself, got the, the class 91 at one end and obviously the DVT at the other end. Starting at the class 91 end, um, straight after it you normally have the, the standard open uh, coaches, which is uh, the TSOs, uh, so trailer standard open. The very first one of those is normally a TSOE, which is the one that's uh, blocked off at one end. As I say, it's a bit annoying that Hornby didn't really represent that with uh, the coach B that was in the train pack. So you have the TSOE. Then you have four TSOs, so trailer standard open. Then you have the RSB, which is the, the buffet coach. Uh, after that, you then have, um, in the, the standard formation, there is two of the, the first class open, so FOs. And um, in the Pullman formation, there's three of those uh, first class coaches in, instead. To take that a little bit further, what they don't actually have a representation of uh, with any of these coaches is there should also be a slightly different formation uh, for the disabled coach. On the other uh, standard uh, side, so that side of the, the buffet coach, there should be the TSOE, which is the one that's closed off. Then there should be three TSOs. Then there should be a TSOD, which has um, got a, a space uh, for wheelchairs there and also a disabled toilet. Then there's the, the buffet coach. And then on the other side of it, uh, depending on whether it's a standard or Pullman formation, there should be then a disabled coach for first class, uh, just the other side of the buffet coach, which is a FOD. And then there's either one or two of the, uh, the first class um, open coaches there. Uh, so that, that's the two different sorts of uh, formations that they, they do have. Now the information about uh, the disabled uh, coaches um, has relevance uh, to, to the Windows uh, formation. As I was saying in the video the other week, on the standard coaches and on the first class coaches, the Hornby model actually has all these long windows and at this end has a couple of single windows. Now that's actually normally not the case on, on the, uh, the, the real uh, Mark IV uh, coaches that are used by East Coast. Normally all the, the long windows are, are correct, and they, although they should be tinted, but at this end where you've got the two single windows, there's a couple of different formations. There's one where you've just got a single window and that's normally uh, silvered out and then next to that there's just a uh, plain metal or you get it where there's just plain metal for both of those windows there's no windows uh, blanked out there at all and um, that actually relates to, to the disabled uh, coaches so where there's no windows at all that's where the disabled toilet is so for the FOD and for the, the TSOD uh, that's where there's no windows and then for the other coaches so the, the FO uh, first class uh, open coaches and for the, the TSOs, the trailer standard open, where there's just a single window, that's because there's just a, a standard uh, toilet there. Okay, so that's the, the, the basic review for the Mark IV coaches that you can get in addition to that train pack. And uh, yeah, so you've got a, a first class coach, a standard open coach, and a buffet coach. Uh, the next thing to do will be able to get all of these uh, sort of on the track, uh, get it behind the 91 uh, class there, and um, see how they, they look in action. I'm not quite sure whether the other Class 91 is capable of pulling a full rake of the, the nine coaches for that formation. We'll see how we go. Okay, well really the next thing to do is uh, to get all the coaches onto the track. I've done a uh, full rake here, so I've set up the, uh, the, the loop of track, extended the loop just by a couple of um, sort of long uh, straights there, just to make it a little bit uh, longer so it isn't chasing its tail literally. I'll see whether it can actually pull the nine coaches. So I haven't actually given this a try yet, so it's basically the class 91, it's about to pull nine coaches uh, plus the, the DVT. The DVT is the one that's in front of you here. Um, just over to the other uh, right hand side is uh, the class 91. I want to give a bit of a run up uh, before I get to the point because I'm a bit worried they might get stuck on that. Okay, so we'll give it some power and see how we go. Okay, so just adding a bit of power here. We get the buzz. And it is moving, so that's a promising sign. It looks like it might be capable of pulling the full rake. Okay, I'm going to give it a bit more power because I'm a bit worried about that point. And it made it over the point okay. Giving it a bit more power.
and there we have it at our full speed. So it's able to pull the other four raker coaches, I'm quite impressed with that. Seems to be quite smooth. We had a bit of a die there, in fact it has died, so I'm going to uh, take the power off. Okay, well I've had a look at that and uh, yeah, there's a bit of a smell and I think that might have actually just burnt out the motor, um, which is a bit of a bugger. Uh, yes, I'm not quite sure, I've never actually really had that happen with the Loco before. In fact, I might take all the coaches off and just see if the Loco runs uh, just by itself. And uh, yes, maybe it's just um, struggling a bit with the, the weight. It was doing quite well there, so yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a pain. Okay, it has all been run in and everything, so yeah, it's a little bit of a shame that it... Uh, has paused. Uh, hopefully it isn't uh, permanently damaged. Okay, well I've taken uh, all the coaches off it and um, had a bit of a, a test with the, the Loco and yes it seems to be dead. Um, so I assume that I've actually burnt out the motor. Um, yes, that's not good. Okay, well I don't really know what to do from there. I guess uh, that would be the end of the video. Um, so yeah, that was the review of the, uh, the first class coach and the buffet coach and also the, uh, the individually available uh, standard coach uh, in the East Coast uh, livery uh, from Hornby. And uh, to boot, it's, um, yes, an example of uh, not what to do to your logo. Okay, I'll leave it there. Uh, bye for now.